right, everyone, let's take a look at our next multiple choice question. We're going to have a logistic growth model. I can see there's my carrying capacity there, and I'll take note of that. But this is the logistic model. Keep in mind, we've been talking about a logistic model. It's usually C plus 1AE to the negative BT, and we pretty much have that, that form right here. So C would be 0.9. A is 45, B is 0.15. So we've got that logistic model. I'm going to erase my notes here and let's figure out the context for this. All right, so it says a disease is spreading through a community um, that can be modeled with a logistic equation. And there it is, where F of T is the proportion of people infected after T days. So I'm just going to keep in mind, this is the proportion of people infected. And then we're going with our units of days. According to the model, what percentage of people will not become infected. All right, so I want you to see this is the complement to that. This is the proportion of people that will be infected, but they're asking us for the folks that won't be infected. And to the nearest day, how long will it take for half of the community to become infected? All right, so let's talk about this. If we talk about our carrying capacity for this problem, we always take that, that number that's on, on the numerator. So in this case, it's 0.9, or I could say 90%, which means eventually, 90% of our community will become infected. That's what that's saying. So 90% of community infected, right? Which complementarily, I don't know if that's quite a word, but the complement to this means 10% of the community will not be infected, right? And that's what they were asking us here. We see the word not. So at this point, I can rule out A and I can rule out C. No, C is not true. I can rule out A and I can rule out B. So now... You have to decide, did it take 22 days to get to half of the community being infected or 27 days? Because that's, that's the second half of the question. Now, I would say that the easier way to do this is to plug 22 into this equation for T and see if 50% comes out. And if it does, great, that's your answer. And if not, try 27. Then you could try 20, plugging 27 in for T. And if 50% comes out, then that's your answer. But because I'm a math teacher... I'm going to do it what I would call the forward way rather than using the um, multiple choice answers to, to figure out the correct answer. I'm just going to go ahead and run this like it was um, a, a free response question. So if I want half of my community to be infected, and I don't really want half, but that would be the decimal 0.5. So I'm going to set my equation. I have 0.9 over 1 plus 45 e to the negative 0.15t. I want to know when is that equal to 50%. All right, so now I got to solve for t. You do take note that it is an, it's up in an exponent, right? We have an exponential equation. So I need to isolate this exponential term. Actually, JK, I want to really isolate this exponential term. I don't even want the 45 with it. I want to isolate that, and then I can take the natural log of both sides. All right, so here comes all the algebra. The first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by that denominator so I can get the variable out of the denominator. Okay, these are going to cancel here. And I'm actually going to write this on this side of the equation just because I usually like to have the variable I'm solving for on the left side of my equation. So I'm going to have 0 0.5 times 1 plus 45 e to the negative 0.15t, and that's going to equal 0 0.9. So the next thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by 0 0.5. So I will get 1 plus 45 e to the negative 0.15t, it's going to be whatever this ratio is, 0 0.9 to 0 0.5. You could, you could write it as 9 fifths if you wanted to. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. All right, so I'm going to have, let me write this, 45e to the negative 0.15t. And that's going to be whatever 0 0.9 over 0 0.5 minus 1 is. And then I'm going to divide that by 45. All right. And let me go up here and start finishing this out. So we have e to the negative 0.15t. That will be equal to 0.9 over 0.5 minus 1. And then I want to divide that by 45. And if you want to go figure out what this decimal is at this point, um, feel free. And when I say this decimal, if you just want to figure out what this is, go for it. I tend to not crunch any of those numbers until the bitter end only because I, I don't want to do any decimal round offs and make my answer less precise in the end. So once I'm here, let me change pen colors, I'm going to natural log both sides, right? And then this is going to cancel by design. So I will have e to the negative 0.15t. That's going to equal the natural log of, whoo, this one's going to be fun, 0.9 over 0.5 minus 1 divided by 45. All right, 
oops, and you know what I just realized on the left side of the equation, I wrote e to the negative 0.15t, even though I just said that canceled out. So let me write negative 0.15t, and then I'm gonna divide by negative 0.15 and get my answer. So I'm gonna divide both sides. All right, so we will have whatever this is equal to, and I know it's pretty ugly. So I will have the natural log of 0.9 over 0.5 minus one. Oops, let me rewrite that. I already messed up on, I wanna make that a fraction. So I'm gonna have 0.9 over 0.5 minus one, all of that divided by 45. And then I'm gonna divide by negative 0.15. All right, so I'm gonna to head to my calculator and I'm gonna do this a piece at a time. So here we go. So let me clear out whatever I had. I'm gonna do 0.9 divided by 0.5 and that's gonna be 1.8. And then the next thing I needed to do was subtract one from it. So I see the 0.8 there. I'm gonna pause just to make sure I have the right numbers. All right, so when I did this, let me go ahead and just overwrite this, but I'm gonna change pen colors just so we can see what I'm doing. All right, so we knew that this was gonna be 0.8. So the next thing I need to do is divide that by 45 and then take the natural logarithm. So I'm gonna divide that by 45. All right, and there's my decimal showing up. So I'm gonna take the natural log of that answer. Let me close that parentheses. All right, great. And then the last thing I need to do, if I remember, was divide by negative 0.15. And when I hit enter, I'm gonna get about 26.87. So let me go ahead and write that here. Let me change pen colors again. This is 26.87 and the units on this were days. So that's pretty close to 27 days. And there's my answer, D. All right, so pretty ugly equation, right? You got this logistic model, but ultimately what it is is just setting a Y value or setting your equation equal to a certain value, in this case 50%, and solving for T, which is in that exponential term, so you're gonna need to use a logarithm. All right, thank